Hello. Uh, got into angel investing a number of different ways. Uh, a lot of folks get into different ways. I got into it as uh, coming from an entrepreneur. Um, raised money, had some successful ventures, some unsuccessful ventures, but uh, as an entrepreneur, you always think you can do things better, so I figured as an angel investor, I could do things better than any of those venture capitalists who invested in my company, so it seemed like a good thing to do. Now, as an entrepreneur, you've got a number of other advantages. You know what it takes to start a business. You've been successful and unsu unsuccessful, you know what's good and bad. Uh, you've also met a lot of other entrepreneurs, and in my case, with a successful startup, bred a lot of entrepreneurs. A lot of folks left my company and wanted to start businesses, so I had some deal flow. So that's how I got into angel investing, and right now I've got about six or seven investments. And uh, so far, some have failed, some are doing well, and some are kind of on the edge, and it takes a little bit of work. So a couple of takeaways that I want to share with you about angel investing. The first, and I think most important, is something that a lot of the other folks here have talked about. It's getting the right partner. You're an angel investor, you've got to pick the right partner, and the best partner I would say is someone with domain expertise, someone who knows your area. If you're starting a software business, get someone who started a software business or who's worked in the software industry, who understands your channel partners, understands how you're gonna distribute the product, can really vet the product features and tell you which is necessary and which aren't. That's really valuable, number one. Number two, if you can get an angel investor who's also been an entrepreneur, that's gonna be invaluable too because as much as starting a business is fun, it's a jazz, they're going to be dark days and there going to be some really bad times. And if you've got someone who you can call on the phone, sit down, have a cup of coffee with, and go through some of these tough things with them, they'll give you, inv they'll, give you they'll buck you up when you need it, they'll give you a kick in the butt when you need it, and they'll help you keep you on a steady track. And finally, and most important, you want to find an angel investor who's got the same values and personality fit that you have, same view of the world. Last thing you're going to want is an angel investor who's going to want to micromanage what you're doing. The second is to match the type of investor stage to, uh, to where you're, you know, match the investor in the capital raise that you're going to do to where you're at in your company. Angels t typically invest as a group. Uh, if you're looking for an angel round, you're usually going to raise somewhere between 100, 500,000, maybe a little bit more. I was recently part of an $800,000 round. Uh, more than that, you're in the VC range. Less than that, go back to uh, Kickstarter, family and friends, and your credit cards. Um, Think about it, though. The average angel investor invests like twenty-five to fifty thousand. So if you're going to raise two hundred and fifty thousand at twenty-five bucks a pop, you're going to have ten people to talk to. So it's good to do if you can. You try to get them to work together to consolidate, uh, consolidate their due diligence when they're looking at your company, and also get them to agree that one or two are going to be the representatives of each angel group, so that you don't have that many mouths to feed in terms of sharing information. Uh, angels invest in companies with valuations bet roughly between one million and two or three million, though the market, at least down in southern Connecticut and New York City area where I've seen is heated up and I've seen a lot of deals in the four and five million range. Now that's when I make an equity investment, which is frankly what I would prefer to make. It's a little harder. You've got to fight and negotiate an equity price, a pre-money price, a price before I put my money in is pre-money up front so that the 250,000 or whatever my group is putting in the company uh, we know what share of the company we own. A more popular, though, kind of, I, I think, not as good for the angel um, structure is, uh, and it's common right now, is convertible debt, where you say, okay, I'm going to put my money in, as, in debt in two years, it'll convert to equity, or what's more likely and what we're hoping is that a VC comes in and there's an institutional round, and I'll convert at a 20 or 30 percent discount, 25 percent discount, to that round. That's great if you can do it, but doesn't always work that way. So in wrapping up, there are a couple of things. Uh, it's good to have, if you're at the right stage, it makes sense to get an angel investor. There are a lot of pros. First of all, angel investors uh, are going to move faster, I think, than VCs. They're going to do less due diligence. Uh, they're going to bet more on the team, and they're going to focus more on that. And usually, since they're investing earlier, there's not as much due diligence to do. They're going to have fewer deal terms, fewer onerous deal terms for you to deal with. And uh, they're going to be a little easier on valuation than your average VC. The cons are a lot of them are less sophisticated, so be careful. Uh, it sounds great to get some easy money from someone who's not going to bother you, but if things go well, that's great. If things go poorly, you're going to have uh, things to deal with. Uh, and there are as many criteria for angel investors as there are uh, reasons for investing in a business. Some will care about IP only. Some will only care about the team or the technology. And one last thing, just like they're going to do a background check in terms of talking to other folks who know you, Make sure you talk to people that they've invested in to make sure that they're the type of people you want to work with. Thank you.